what's going on guys Tosker here and uh, I just wanted to upload this video because I'm going to show you guys uh, you'll be able to download the source code in the description uh, I put it up on github but it's an old project that uh, as I was setting up a github and I was putting some of my old projects on it uh, I ran by this and got a little uh, nostalgic for me and I decided I wanted to actually make a video and uh, I'll warn you, it's it's really ugly, but essentially it's a sales system application that's essentially a, a virtual register, I guess, and you can look up customers and sell them things. And I started off at the Connection Manager class because I didn't want you to see the design right away because I want to forewarn you, it is terribly ugly. And uh, yeah, so, but here's essentially what it looks like. And right off the bat we're just gonna open it and play around in it okay so we open it up right here I have the default user this is essentially where the employee enters in their user code to log in so I'll hit log in and here we see I'm logged in as Joe and I can sign out and we can look up customers so I made one customer and I think I made his name John Doe at email.com and we can look him up and it'll give us his first last name address email and over here uh, I haven't done anything yet but over here would show products they bought and I don't have an update feature but the update feature essentially was going to be if you wanted to change their address you could change it hit update and it would do that but I guess I never got around to implementing that but we'll jump over to sale and when we click sale uh, we have to look up a customer first uh, otherwise it won't let us and then right here I have a glazed donut and a 12 ounce coffee for an example and so we would do type sale then I would click uh, glazed donut add I can do another glazed donut and a coffee and I just do cash out I didn't do like number punching or anything because it's just kind of stimulating it so wasn't really necessary but then you can do cash out and then it cashes them out so essentially they paid for it you would do look up now and when we look up now we'll see that we can see uh, orders that they've made so it automatically gave it an order ID of 102 it'll give you the order date uh, I'm assuming time isn't working but when you click this what's cool is you're able to see exactly what they bought and we could also do sign up where we actually I'll save sign up for just a minute because we also can go over here to our manage and here we can add in and remove and update products we have an employees tab where you can assign new employees people you hire and fire and set their wage and their title which is cool but let's go back to merchandise and let's say now instead they we wanted to add 20 ounce coffees it would be a beverage uh, we need to give it a new ID so 102 I usually just increment uh, warning uh, there is a, a little bug where uh, you're gonna get a uh, an exception thrown if you put in a same ID so that was something I was actually uh, one of the last things I was going to fix before I just kinda got bored of the project then we'll say it'll be a dollar eighty nine and we can add that so now we have a 20 ounce coffee uh, if we wanted to lower let's say our 12 ounce coffees to let's say a dollar thirty nine we could do that and update the item and we could also remove items uh, just take my word for it uh, you can remove them uh, we can now leave here and we can sign up a customer so we go to the sign up and we could do Jane Doe eh. she'll live with her husband John Doe and we'll say Jane Doe at email.com so now we can create a new customer successful and now we can look up Jane Doe we'll look her up it'll update the information and see she has no sales so we can go sell her a glazed donut and a new 20 ounce coffee 
and also you can search too that's another cool thing is I'll type in like glazed search and I can find glazed if we leave it empty we'll just get everything again so we'll cash her out so now when we look up our Jane Doe again we can see her order number was 103 and we have a her glazed donut and her 12 ounce coffee and uh, let's say let's tell her uh, now she's on a, a donut little binge here so let's say she wants like six donuts and we can cash her out again and when we look her up we got a new order 104 these automatically increment and we can see all the donuts she bought so you know she came in the next day and was like oh my donut was at a bug in it and then we could see oh yeah all six of them uh, I also have inventory here not implemented sorry <laughs> uh, inventory was essentially going to be where I was gonna put in something where you could track uh, the store's sales for the day and how many items you have in stock and etc um, another cool thing too is like with manage go to employees uh, we have like our titles of manager assistant CSR and all that and they actually have um, permissions so let's say I wanted to log in as a Armin choose so his ID is 190579 so I'll sign out and here it'll pop up uh, the amount of time I ran the register which was five minutes and 22 seconds and it was 190579 so I'll log in and he doesn't get manager privileges so he can't access the manage but he can look up customers and sign up customers so we'll say Jack Doe and he lives at 1212 uh, Lavender Street and his name will be jackdo at email.com and we can create our jackdo so now we can look up jackdo at email and maybe he's a big coffee guy and so we can sell him a three 20 ounce coffees and uh, 12 ounce and we look him up again and now we have all of his orders and uh, actually, you're going to learn with me here because I'm not sure if I did the refund. So let's say he came back and he said, oh, yeah, I bought these. And, you know, there was whatever. And we look them up and we can see that, okay, yep, you did just come in and buy one. And then we could say, okay, well, that 12-ounce coffee, you know, spilled on your lap because the lids were broken. Then we could do refund, 12-ounce coffee, yep. And it would do negative 139, cash out. And now if we look them up. Okay, so yeah, that was a little flaw in my way. <laughs> yeah, so I, I guess it doesn't really tell you if it's a, a refund or not. But yeah, whatever, it's cool. I don't know, it was just an old project. Uh, I, I'd actually really like to see what I could do now, given like I'm a little more advanced. Well, I'm a lot more advanced than I uh, was when I made this. So I'd be interested in uh, seeing if I can make something better and actually maybe uh, make a tutorial video on it. It would be a really long one, but it'd be uh, pretty interesting. Yeah, so I don't know. Let me know, guys, if you haven't already left the video. Um, one thing I will say is if you do get this on GitHub and you put it in uh, to play around with, uh, when you go to your project and you would add in a database so you go to your project add new item and then you would go to data and you would add in a uh, huh I wanna say service based database so you'd add in one of those I already have one named gizmo and uh, when you would click it, I'm just telling you now how to set up the database if you do. And when you click the gizmo, okay, you'll double click it, it'll open up this. And over here, you're going to see a connection string. So you're going to want to copy that value. Okay, and 
yep you're gonna want to copy that value and also uh, you want to click it again not double click it but just click it once and make sure the copy output directory is set to copy always then you'll go over here to our project our properties our settings and you will just paste that connection string right in here so you just paste it in there make sure you save it and then your database should be all set up uh, one thing you would maybe need to do as well is you go into uh, you'd have to create the tables so you go to your tables and you would create a customer employees orders products purchases and you would do all these and uh, if you need the like specific values I can put them up on my WordPress but just to give you a general idea and you may need to by default in order to log in go to show table data for your employees and then right here you would uh, set make sure you do uh, an ID a name and all that and then make sure you set your employee title to manager so you can actually be able to access like the managing features but yeah that's it you know it's not a real interesting video but I was bored so I figured I'd make a little one on this I, I just I don't know kinda made me happy to look at a very old project and share it with you guys so uh, if you like the video if you want more and if you actually want me to do a tutorial on this leave a comment below uh, like and subscribe and all that fun shit and see ya